With sadness in my heart and also with joy, I will share my story with you. Buenas tardes a todos. Mi nombre es Jesús Pulido. Lo que estaba pasando en el trabajo, que la compañía que uno le trabajaba no nos estaba pagando. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Antonio Pulido. He escuchado de muchas personas que se han caído, se han lastimado o hasta han perdido la vida por no usar la herramienta y no tener el equipo adecuado para, para hacer el trabajo. Ah, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Francisco Barajas. A los 14, 15 años empecé a trabajar para poder ayudar a mi mamá, pero nunca pensé que iba a ser un trabajo tan duro. So what we're asking for is the city and the county to adopt a, a community benefit agreement on all projects where there's any public funding. Now, the policy would include all redevelopment zones uh, through Prosper Portland, and as we know, there's a ton of them right now in, in the city. Furthermore, we're asking that the Workers' Rights Board endorse, as part of the CBA utilization, a creation of an oversight committee comprised of representatives from each public entity and an equal amount of community and labor to oversee compliance on all these construction projects. Now the Oversight Committee should have the authority to, at the very, very least, investigate projects and recommend to the public owner, uh, you know, slash developer penalties, uh, including fines and or removal from the projects. Now we also looking um, to have these investigations and recommendations entered into public record. And we'd also ask for support of a notion that at least 1% of the hard construction costs be set aside to fund fines levied through the recommendations of the Oversight Committee to pay workers owed wages in, case, in the cases where monies become uncollectible uh, by the employer. Well, here it goes. After two months of hard work, you have any idea how much I make? $200, there you go. Yeah. Can you believe that my story is repeating today? Right now, somebody's working under the same circumstances that I worked 18 years ago in this city. Are we going to allow that to happen? It is important that we know that that happened to me, but you see, I'm not important. It's about the thousands and thousands of carpenters out there living under exploitation for one reason or another, and that's not good. We cannot sit here and allow that to happen. If it already happened to my brother, to me, show your hands. Can we leave ourselves knowing that that is happening? What are we gonna do today and tomorrow? That's the question that I ask you. And if you go home and you decide to do nothing, you're gonna have to live the rest of your life with that. That's what make me wanting to be involved with this. Uh, thank you. Si se puede.